welcome to the history of Broadway from 1900 to now. I'm Sierra, and I'm here with my associate, Taylor Bay. Hello! So, we'll begin with very early musicals. They were mostly English adaptions of European operettas. Dear me, I have only recently experienced a new form of entertainment. I was at the theater yesterday, May 12, 1901, when I saw a sensational operetta. It is called The Fortune Teller. Uh, I only saw it the week before last. It was quite magnificent, if you ask me. Well, I didn't. It's nice to see new show styles coming to New York City. It was so dreary before then. And a decade after that, Broadway went through another change. Yes, it did! During this time, there were a lot of celebrated composers. Among them were P.G. Wodehouse and Guy Bolton. World War I also had its influence on Broadway. Yes, it did! Goodness, this war is so terrible. My husband and I went to the theater the other day. It was such an uplifting experience for us both. It's nice to have a way to have some lighthearted fun. With the coming of the 20s and the sound in cinema, Broadway theaters had to find new ways to attract more patrons. They abandoned heavy plot lines and switched to more flashy vaudeville style shows with big dance routines and more upbeat music. The Great Depression had an influence on audiences across the country. Shows like Of the I Sing and Yankee Doodle Dandy became more political, and some foreshadowed the more operatic style of later musicals. I've saved for months and months to go to this musical. We could go see a live performance, or we could go see a show at the cinema. It seems to me as though cinemas are taking over. True. Let's go to see the live performance. Don't want the film industry to take over. Thankfully, Broadway musicals did survive. In the 1940s, composers like Rogers and Hammerstein had great influence over the business. Shows like Carousel and Oklahoma depicted more serious subject matter. Broadway musicals began to be more American and less influenced by Europe during this time. With the 50s came more movies based on musicals from Broadway. West Side Story, one of these musicals, was controversial and included rape, gang fights, and murder. seems as though Broadway is pushing the limit to us, what's acceptable and what's not. I nearly fell out of my chair when that man stabbed that poor boy to death. Times are changing in Broadway. Mm-hmm. I love this song. It's great. During the 1960s, two prominent men in musical theater were Stephen Sondheim and Jerry Herman. Sondheim moved the musical beyond its concentration on the romantic plots typical of earlier eras. His work tended to be darker exploring the grittier sides of life, both present and past. Some of his musicals were A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum and A Little Night Music. Jerry Herman played a significant role in American musical theater with the smash hit Hello Dolly and the Casual Fall. Rock music would be used in several Broadway musicals, beginning with Hair, which featured not only rock music, but also nudity and controversial opinions about the Vietnam War, race relations, and homosexuality. Rock musicals flourished in the 1970s with Jesus Christ Superstar, Godspell, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Two Gentlemen of Verona. Other Broadway shows had no dialogue or were otherwise reminiscent of opera with dramatic emotional themes. These sometimes started as concept albums and were referred to as rock operas. Shows like Dream Girls and The Wiz brought a significant African American influence to Broadway. With the coming of the 80s, Broadway was influenced by European mega musicals or pop operas, which typically featured a pop influenced score and had large casts and sets were identified as much by their notable effects. These effects included a falling chandelier in Phantom of the Opera and a helicopter landing on stage in Miss Saigon. Andrew Lloyd Webber, a noted composer of this time, had success with the Vita, based on the life of Argentina's Eva Peron and Cats, derived from the poems of T.S. Eliot. Another success was The Phantom of the Opera, which was derived from the Gaston LaRue novel The Phantom de l'Opera, and also the longest-running show on Broadway at 23 years. That was awesome! I could totally see Phantom going on Broadway for years! With all the special effects and stage magic, I can't see how it will ever leave Broadway. Oh. 
The 1990s also saw the influence of large corporations on the production of musicals. The most important has been the Walt Disney Company, which began adapting some of its animated movie musicals for stage, such as Beauty and the Beast and The Lion King. Jonathan Larson's musical Rent was marketed to increase the popularity of musicals among a younger audience. It featured a young cast and the score is heavily rock influenced. The cost of tickets to Broadway musicals was escalating beyond the budget of many theater goers, and the trend was for these musicals to be viewed by a smaller and smaller audience. In recent years, some Broadway shows took chances on the new and unusual, such as Urinetown, Avenue Q, the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, Spring Awakening, In the Heights, and Next to Normal. But most took a safe route with well-known shows like Spamalot, Hairspray, The Color Purple, Billy Elliot, and Shrek, or well-known literature such as Wicked, hoping that the shows would have built-in audiences as a result. Typically, off-Broadway theaters tended to produce smaller and therefore less expensive musicals, and development of new musicals has increasingly taken place outside of New York or in smaller venues. For example, Spring Awakening was developed off-Broadway before being launched on-Broadway. Broadway continues to influence New York and the entire nation with its productions that have entertained audiences through the years by making them laugh, cry, and shocking them until the final curtain call. Thank you for tuning into Taylor Fay and Sierra Park's Untitled Broadway Musical Theater History Project. Join us next time for part two of Taylor Fay and Sierra Park's Untitled Broadway Musical Th History Theater Project, the Tony Awards. Mm. Good day. So long.